welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a, another special uh, Christmas haul. For some reason I said to myself that I wasn't going to buy any more Christmas decorations this year. I lied to myself and I have. <laughs> uh, I have serious issues. Anyway, uh, do you like my mug? It's from B&M. I did it in two hauls ago I think it was. Uh, it's the driving home for Christmas mug and it's full of latte that I also bought from uh, uh, B&M. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you is actually something that's not in the bag any longer because this is from like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It was before lockdown, even though this shop is still open, one below is still open um, because it does sell food and drink and necessities. Uh, so the kids stole these already, they are in their rooms. It's a elf light projector. And it literally is just one of those um, little lights with LEDs in them and it projects it onto the ceiling. Not much else to say about those apart from they are a pound and they had loads of little elf things in there. But uh, I asked the kids again this year if they wanted to do elf on the shelf. They said no. <laughs> so good for me. But at the same time, I kind of miss it. I miss them being young and, you know, young. They're still young, but you know what I mean? Anyway, let's get on to this monstrosity of a haul. Oh, I've just dropped something. Um, this is everything. This is all pink stuff. And there are some bits for the kids for their uh, stocking fillers. So I'm just going to turn my light around because it's very... Uh, there, there we go. Hello! <laughs> uh, am I still in focus? Uh, yeah, I think I am. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Oh, wait, these are pound now. My mum picked these up for me because I'm going to do a DIY with them. So I just, uh, these are Poundland uh, candy canes. They do also sell these in one below. Probably the same amount as well. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's twelve in each peppermint candy canes. Anyway, so on to the pink stuff. There's a lot of pink stuff here, guys. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start here. All this was a pound. Um unless otherwise stated but this is a giant snowflake it's the rose gl rose gold glitter it's not really that rose gold it's more of a blush pink but i will take it same way because it is so pretty and they had this in gold and silver and red and they also had it in clear uh with like a silver glitter on there but it, it they all look beautiful but obviously i chose the pink snowflake i love it I only bought one as well. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'll find somewhere for it. I always do. Um, I also got some of these beautiful butterflies. <laughs> the packaging is this way, but the butterflies are this side. So <laughs> I'll show you them. They are like 3D butterflies and they just clip on to your tree or to a garland or something with these silver clips. They're just those crocodile clips. And I'm assuming you can sort of manoeuvre the wings out to make them stand out a bit more and be more 3D, which is really cool. Pack of four in there for a pound, not too bad. Um, these I bought last year from Pound Stretch in silver. These are actually already on my tree. But I found these ones in the pink and I absolutely love them. And I'm looking at my tree now thinking, should I redo it? I might redo it. I might pull off everything off my tree and redo it because I did buy some more tree decorations. But anyway, pack of two in there for a pound. I do have another pack of those. Ah, somewhere. Oh my God. Oh, oh jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. Where are you? Ah, oh no, they're a different thing altogether. Okay, I did have two packs of those. They're probably in the bottom somewhere. So I'm just going to get on with these. I got some ceiling decorations. We never, okay, the first year I did ceiling decorations and after that, never again. Not sure why, I think it's the hassle of being up on the ceiling and trying to pin things in, nothing pinned in. We tried sellotape and sellotape just kept unpeeling, unpeeling off. So I gave up, but I'm gonna try again this year uh, because they have pink. And I think these are all pink. I'm not sure if they do the, you know, the silver, pink, silver, pink, silver, pink, like they used to do in the pound shop. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try these out. There's a pack of two in each pack, so there's four. And I'm just gonna go from one corner to another in a diagonal and see how it goes. 
but I love, I, we, we grew up with ceiling decks. My mum and dad used to go so OTT and we used to have like one, two, two, four, six into the corners. And then in between each one, we had danglies. You remember the dangly ones that opened out? Yeah, we had all of that growing up. Um, I found some pink glitter, glitter, tinsel. Uh, I couldn't find none of this last year. I think I found like really bright pink, but it wasn't this pink. It wasn't the right pink. Um, so I just bought two of these and I'm not usually a tinsel fan. So, um, yeah, I now have an abundance of it because I also bought this tinsel. <laughs> this is tinsel garland. So this is a lot thinner and you could probably use this to make a garland, like hang it off the fireplace or uh, down your banisters or something and wrap them in lights. Good idea. Um... But yeah, I, this is five meters and these are two meters each. So the thicker ones are two meters. But I just, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet, but I just loved the color. God, I'm obsessed. Oh, obsessed. This is a slightly different color, I think. I've noticed as well, I pulled out my dress and realized it was pink too. Uh, so the next thing I got was these snowflakes. They are rose gold glittered snowflakes, nine pack. They've moved, so I'm going to attempt to show you what they look like because the packet is completely, uh... yeah, they've all moved out of their slots. Yee, messy, messy, messy. I love a bit of mess, really. Uh, they come with wire, which is good. They come with, a... you have to thread them yourself, so they come with like a roll, a round of wires, not wires, string, string is what I'm saying. And they're these. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, what I was thinking with these, not using them in uh, on the tree, but actually stringing them downwards so they hang from top to bottom because they got two holes. I was thinking of putting some, uh, yeah, just stringing them top to bottom and just hang, having them dangle down as a string. What do you think? I think I might do that. I can do all nine just hanging down. I can have them hanging down the corner of one of our walls. I think it would look lovely. I think they're really pretty. Really, really pretty. Yeah, and they've got the little diamante in between them. So I'm really happy with those. Because I thought to myself, now nah, I'm not going to buy them. And then I ended up buying them again anyway. Um, so yeah, that was the snowflakes. I bought this Merry Christmas sign to go above our front room door. And because it's really light, it's just made of like polystyrene. Um, I'm going to just blue tack it to the wall and just press it on above the door. So when you walk out of the door... You can see Merry Christmas and then obviously when you're sitting in the front room you can look up and see it. But it literally is just this Merry Christmas design. I think that's the wrong way around for you. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's in the perfect colour. Again, they had all this stuff in silver, gold and red. So if you're looking for the more traditional colours, they do have them in there. Um, what else? What else? Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff. That's, oh my god. Okay, so the last sort of Christmassy decoration bits is these bows. No idea what I'm doing with these yet, but I thought they were really pretty. I thought I bought two of these as well, but I might have dropped some out of the bag, I'm not sure. But these are so pretty. They're these gorgeous like tinsel bows. You can get up close, you can see the texture of them. So, so lovely. And on the back... If you were to put them against fabric, they're actually plastic backs, so they're not going to catch on anything, which is really good. I need to straighten this one out, though. It's a bit bent. But yeah, they're really pretty. Um, the next thing, oh my God, these are gorgeous. Now, we've got bells. We've got, um, I've got DIY bells that I can, like, attach to things from Pound Shop. I bought bells last year from Poundland or something, or the year before. But these are rose gold. No, they're... they're blush pink whatever um but yeah i thought they were really pretty and they are pack of 10 so you can the ideas right i was thinking have these on a garland and have them sorry just hide my face why don't i just do the whole haul like this um and have these hung on them with the bows and the flowers 
right? I think that would look great. Anyway, I love how my ideas just sort of come to me when I'm doing this. Um, okay, I got some... Oh, wait, yes, this. This stuff. Ooh, did I just buy one of these as well? What is with this bag? It's like a, a pit of despair where I think I'm losing things. Okay, so the last thing I got for myself, <laughs> again, is Christmas ribbon. These are 2.75 metres and they are burlap ribbon but with silver uh sparkles silver dots and silver trim and this one is snowflakes i think these are absolutely beautiful and yeah i love these absolutely love a bit of ribbon and the fact that it's burlap ribbon like to match all my twine stuff that i've been into this last year it's perfect and a pound each for two two meters i think that's really good you could get some a few presents presents wrapped in this stuff really cute um right on to the kids i got some headbands <sighs> just because they're obsessed they like I, I love the fact that my kids love uh, a novelty but we've got so many headbands i think i'm gonna stop buying them now okay next year we'll buy none but i got these these headbands these are the presents i think they're really cool and they got little holly berries on the bottom of the spring which i think is really nice um they're not that great made they're actually reversible as well so you can make green presents oh my god i never even noticed that but i've just read it it says reversible um i've got the glitter reindeers these are actually my favorites oh my god i look so stupid but so cool at the same time no okay so yeah i got the the glitter reindeers and then i got these stars because i'm not sure which ones my boy will go for um probably the reindeer is but the girl the eldest she'll probably go for something really simple because she is she is just that she's um yeah she likes a bit of class she doesn't like anything too crazy um anyway on to the kids we have these felt shapes these christmas craft a jumbo assortment of stars snowflakes trees presents and more so we can make like christmas decorations with these i think they are stickers as well which is really really handy so no having to glue them but look how cute the gingerbread men are and the presents and the stars i think yeah we can have some fun with those and the snowflakes yeah oh look the snowflakes down the bottom have got like the blue pattern on them i don't know if you can yeah there you go bit of a pattern on the the snowflakes down there quite cute for a pound i think that's really good i mean if you was making your own advent calendar as well these would be quite handy you could stick them on the pockets along with a number or something i think that's really cute i've got no space left to put anything okay so for their um Stockings, I was going to say Christmas Eve boxes. Christmas Eve boxes last year, they got a tin of fake snow. And I might even do it again this year and put this in their Christmas Eve boxes. Um, but it is just fake snow. And all you do is add uh, water and then you wait and it just grows. Like it, the, the snow expands and it's really cold to the touch. I think it's so clever. And um, it's the sort of stuff they use in like movies and stuff. I remember going to Harry Potter World in the WB Studios, the tour, and they said about the snow that they use. They use three different kinds of snow. Um, they use like, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go into it because I don't want to let out the secrets. You have to pay to get secrets revealed. Um, anyway, and then I got these cute little uh, DIY snowmen. They're basically like slime foam thing, foam putty. So you get the putty with the polystyrene balls in it and then they, in the bottom of the container, there's like arms and legs and stuff. So you can sort of make your own snowman with the putty. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's in there. But for a pound, I think these things are really cute and they keep them busy. So, and that's what you want at Christmas. You want the kids to just, you know, do their own thing, play while you're doing the, the good stuff, the food stuffs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> forgot this this is a tape dispenser um it's the one with the you can, so present wrapping is just going to be amazing um and it takes the small ones that you can also get from poundland so you can just slot those on and go about your wrapping business uh oh oh i almost thought i'd lost these they had these 
Now, One Below replaced, uh, basically replaced Pound World. Now, back in the day when Aria had her own channel, we used to do, we used to go to Pound World and find loads of like blind bags and stuff. Well, One Below now do all of that stuff. Um, we got these surprise animals, and they are like a little surprise animal in the ball. And I think there's, oh, I don't even know how many to collect. But this is series one, it says, so there's probably been about 10 seasons because they're so old, but they're three plus and the kids love them and they'll probably all get the same thing, but they will love them because it's a surprise, an opening of something, which is really cute. Um, and the, no, Hatchimals. <laughs> I was going to say the last thing I got. These are Summer Vibes Hatchtopia Hatchimals. So again, these just have the... Uh, the egg inside and you can just pop it open if you've seen the Hatchimals you have to warm the the heart and they break and out comes this really cute toy um yeah they call them collectibles this is five plus so lucky yes I did check that my littlest one is five but she's had them since she was a baby anyway so you know but that was those again cute really cute stocking stuffers here and stuff like that these are my absolute fave these are mod mod and they come in these gorgeous like colored packets um i never want to throw this stuff away because i'm such a hoarder but i just love the packaging they come in and they're so cute these are just squishies uh this is a sparkle series i've no idea um it says so so soft so cute so mod uh so yeah series uh there's someone at my door for a second Hi, that was my Iceland delivery. <laughs> I forgot it was coming between 12 and 2. So anyway, it says two pack in there. A pack of two. I can't feel that, but I'm sure the kids will love finding out which ones they got. But yes, that is the end of my haul. I'm out of breath now. I had to run downstairs because he went through the wrong door. Whew. Mm. But yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um... This will probably be probably be my last haul before the Christmas. next thing I'll be getting is food and the rest of the kids presents. I am going to do a video on what I've bought the kids so far um, because I've wrapped it all now and I had to film in silence what I'd actually bought them because, yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Sorry for rambling on. I do tend to think more when the camera is on. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video and um, yeah, take care of yourselves and happy online shopping because the shops are going to be crazy next week and um, yeah, just be careful out there guys. Lots of love. Take care. Bye. Bye.